This is a video requested by, by some people in the community uh, when it comes to singing and playing and how we can improve our singing and little tips on exercises to reduce strain in our voice and help improve our ability to sing melodies, uh, especially melodies that are hitting pitches that we're not super comfortable with. Um, and if you're new here, my name is Luan. I live stream Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Australian time. And uh, we've got a free music school. Jump on in if you want to check it out. Links in the bio. And if you need personal music coaching, we also have that available for you too. All right. So the, the it's pretty much two things that I ever do when it comes to exercises. Um, if you've been watching the streams, you we get the question a lot. Uh, what exercises do I do for vocals? What do I do? Think like different. There is just countless. It's the the pit is bottomless with how much es exercises are available for vocals or just any kind of thing in music. Uh, and the only thing I would stress when it comes to jumping into exercises for vocals or just anything in music is uh, I have a rule of like uh, 90 10, which is 10% of your practice is spent on exercises and 90% is spent on music. Now, a lot of the content that you'll see in vocal pedagogy and things like that, uh, I don't have a degree in vo uh, vocal pedagogy. Mine is just like a degree from Berkeley with music and and I majored in songwriting. Uh, I just did a lot of singing. Uh, I worked with really, really talented vocal coaches and I picked up a few things that I was like, no, this is exactly what I want to use it for. And I, And every time I was doing exercises as like the main thing, I was just... One, it, I was getting tired vocally because I can't, I couldn't perform it a very uh, long amounts of time. And two, uh, I was also just not doing music. Uh, some people, some people are amazing, and they will jump in and they will be like, "All right, I'm going to do all my exercises, then I'm going to practice, and I'm going to do this, and they can smash out like a five six hour practice routine." I just can't do that. I it's just not me. I I don't have that. I don't have that like switch to be like. Phew, I'm going to just do that. I am like, I need one or two hours of like really, really good progress. And then my brain just like disappears and like, is like, I'm, I'm over this now. Let's do something else. So I found a way that to optimize my practice in the sense of like, I'm going to take the, the essence of the exercise and then I'm going to do, um, apply it to my music. So that's why my rule is like 10% on exercise, 90% on music. So however long you've got to practice, think of it like that. So if, you know, you've got an hour to practice, so 60 minutes, then that means you're going to spend five, six minutes uh, doing your vocal warm up or exercise, and then you're going to spend the rest of the time working on music and improving your singing through that. Now, it's pretty much one exercise that um, it's just one technique. It, it, I've tried multiple ones, but this is the one that I find that is just absolutely banger, totally, totally slays. It's called a lip trill. Um, so it goes, it sounds like this. You're basically holding a, a a pitch. You're like like kind of like humming, mm, but you're going to be uh you're going to be basically like doing like a with your lips. You like put the lips together and then you blow air and then it creates this vibration on your lips. And then all you can do is hold a hold a note. And that's lip trill. Nothing crazy about it. Now, what we want to do with the lip trill is the only exercise that I would suggest for a warm up is what I'd call a siren. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to have a pitch and you're going to start either from low, high, high, low, wherever you want to go. But you just want to treat your your pitch like a siren, and you want to make sure there's no breaks. And if there's ever a break in it, you want to just I can jump right into that little break and you're going to iron it out and you're going to sit there for ages and just like figure out where that pitch is not working. So for instance, I'd start here. And then once you run out of breath, do it again. Nothing crazy. You could be sitting in the car. You could be, you know, on a bus. I don't know where, wherever you're at. You could be doing laundry. Um, 
And you could just be sitting there doing that, playing a video game. I used to do a vocal, ver- <laughs> I used to do my vocal warm ups while playing like World of Warcraft or something. <laughs> you know, you're just like, you're just like sitting there farming up. <laughs> you know, you could do it all day. Um, so it's a really, really cool, cool thing. You don't want to be straining your voice as soon as you feel like there's like a little pinch um, or anything like, like pinching is not that good. If you can feel it's like pushing, it's kind of all right. Now, the trick to it is if say there was like a like there's like a jump, what you need to find is like where that note is that you're not, your vocal folds haven't figured out what's going on. And then that's where you want to sit down and be like really surgical about how short the space is. So as soon as you see that there's a gap where you there's a break and you're like, oh, I missed that note. Like, like there's like a flip. Um, not to go into falsetto or anything, but you you will notice it, especially if you're not, it's hard for me to replicate it because I just, I'm, I've done it so many times. I'm quite comfortable with it, but you will find a spot there that will be like, oh, that's what he's talking about. And then all you're going to do is like, say it was here. You'd be ironing that out and making it as clean as possible. Now, that is the one exercise I would say, if you're going to do anything for warming up, jump in, do a siren. I would say do it for like a minute or two. Uh, and then you get into singing. So like depending on how much you're practicing, 10% should be just that. Walk walk in, warm up, do a little vocal siren, and then with your lip trill, and it's good. You can do the vocal siren by like saying, uh, you could use the ng sound, ng, like going. You could do it like that um, as well, but the lip trill's more fun, and it kind of like relaxes your face a little bit, and you know, you the, it just the lip trill there there must be some scientific thing that they that these vocal pedagogy people have figured out that are super dope um but i i just find it relaxes my my face more it relaxes the muscle around uh my mouth more there's not a lot of tension going on and you can really kind of like isolate it i'm kind of like sitting pretty chill but i would you know if you want to get really really correct you know get your posture up engage your core uh, and you'd like <laughs> run out of breath it's pretty fun um and you can do it like anywhere which is awesome now that is the one exercise i, I would suggest you guys do for warm-ups now the reason why i like that one is because it's going to allow you to jump into melodies when you're singing songs and you're struggling and you're like oh man i, I can't seem to get this vocal melody comfortable or you're noticing you're straining a lot when you're singing uh, and what you can do is you can just jump in and sing that melody. Um, the only melody that seems to be sticking in my head right now is I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. So if I was jumping into learning it and I couldn't sing it and I was like, oh, this is too hard. I would I would actually just go like, I would lip trill it. And you can either lip trill and isolate each note if you're, if you're quite good at it. Um, you can isolate each note, but you can just like, gradually move around it so your vocal folds just feels where everything is and it gets comfortable around that range and then you can just jump in and do like the just the vowel sounds like do 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 or whatever thing you want to do so That is doing it literal as an exercise. That's how I would do it as an exercise. And then, you know, you would get your, your guitar out. Oh, I was singing completely different. Well, you knew when you done done me, you bet that I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. So. <laughs> And 
And then I would go, well, now you done done me. You bet that I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. And already that is more on than I would normally sing it. So it's a fun warm up way to approach it. Uh, it gets you more connected to, to the vocal melody. It gets your voice warmed up very cleanly. Um, and that's how I would use it as an exercise. Because the trick to the exercise is not to be good at exercises. It's the point is to use the technique and then create an exercise in music so you get good at music at the same time as building technique. Because the problem that you will face as a singer is, well, this is what I used to do, you know, seven steps to singing success. And I would walk into the, my practice room and I would have my... 30 40 minute workout regime where I'd be doing like and then let's do this over da 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 and you're like oh my fucking god you finally finish this like workout thing especially if you're a new singer that will gas you on like practice like you're you're tired at that point you're like oh my god I just did that and then you got to remember you're talking during the day you know you're screaming uh, you're having fun. You, I don't, like you use your voice in so many ways. And then if you just do like an exercise, then you go to like go and play music and sing songs and you're like, oh man, I'm just tired. Um, so if you can com combine the technique building with the singing of actual music, you will get better at music. And then you'll also get better at singing and it will just, you know, all boats rise in the tide. Uh, and that has been the biggest unlock for me i completely changed my progress in music as a singer and pretty much in the span of like 12 months i've had just like massive massive growth in my performances um i get compliments every time when i finish shows now they're not like hey you're you're a great guitar player i love your guitar it's always like you're a great singer i love the way you sang that song but and i'm like yes that's the win and you can always measure if you're doing things right with the compliments that you get at the end or the like negatives, you know, some people, hey, don't quit your day job. And I was like, well, I already fucked that up. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We we take them on the chin on everything. But um, so essentially that's that's the approach. Just the lip trills, super, super chill. Then nothing crazy. Um, just do it like that. Play the songs that you want to play. Have fun the way you want to do it. Um, if you want to jump in and do like, hectic you know workout regimes totally do it um i'm just saying i did it and i want to save you the time and the pain don't do it it's not really going to get you the result that you want fast you're going to get way more results by just taking whatever technique that somebody gives you like these gurus will give you and take that little technique and be like all right i'm going to i'm going to use that technique and i'm going to sing the whole song that i'm singing right now using that technique if it's a lip trill or tongue trill or whatever now that's going to help you a lot with getting the melodies more comfortable with your vocal folds and getting used to the range. That's what the sirens, that's what lip trills and all that stuff will do. Now, there's one thing extra that I would say um, that I do see with a lot of singers. I had this big problem. It's called tongue root tension. It's where you're engaging the back muscles of your tongue, like the your tongue muscles around the back are engaging and like it's it's straining it's causing contractions i mean i'm not a vocal pedagogy person so i can't i'm the i'm butchering what's happening basically all that's happening is stuff that's going on in your mouth that does not need to be going on is happening and it causes too much tension and it means you're engaging too much and then where there needs to be space there needs to be relaxation so that the the tone can come out clearer and things like that they're being held back and so that's a thing that you see in so many singers it happens all the time. Uh, and the the number one antidote that I found out of all the exercises that I did was simply get your finger, grab your tongue and you hold your tongue. And then what you're going to do is while holding your tongue, you will be singing what you're trying to sing. And then you're going to find that, oh, OK, like anytime your tongue pulls, that's you reacting with tongue root tension. That's you, like a really good indicator that you're using a lot of your tongue in those moments. Like the tongue really should be to help shape tone, should be to help shape the vowel sounds and help shape, uh, you know, your consonants and finishing words and things like that. It's really like for diction and clarity and things like that. It shouldn't be overused. It should be used the way it needs to be used. Um, so that's how I see the using the tongue in singing. And so... This is the tip. You just grab your your tongue, 
and this is going to sound you just be prepared to sound like an idiot every time it goes into any form of vocal exercise or anything just be like i'm going to sound like an idiot and everyone's going to think i'm stupid and crazy and that means you're getting better so you grab your tongue so we can do i'm yours so now I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get. I think I noticed a little pull there. So, well, now you done done me. You bet that I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. Um, it. I'm already feeling it. It feels a bit better. Like I do it all the time. Like we all do it. We're not all perfect all the time performing. Um, it's just a thing that for the people who really, really do have this problem, uh, it's going to help you a lot to jump in and uh, fix uh, fix the uh, the tongue root tension, which is holding you back, especially from getting a nice tone and, and being comfortable in your voice. Because anything that's going on with your singing that is like extra, uh, you just the sooner that it gets removed from your singing, uh, the better. So um, hopefully that helps. Uh, that I, I try not to talk too much about like technique exercise stuff because um, I'm more of a mu like play music, uh, give yourself time, put in the reps uh, and and then get an actual vocal coach that can sit there with you in the room and then see, are you engaging your core? Are you like got the correct like position in your mouth? Are you using your tongue too much? Are you breathing correctly? Blah, blah, blah. Get a good vocal coach that can help you out with that. Like it is... Uh, so amazing to build those habits early like good good breathing good you know core engagement things like that all that stuff will help support your voice so much and um and then you're also going to find that as you sing for ages you'll be like oh i'm picking up bad habits again and then like i had to go back and see one of my vocal coach friends and they were like hey you're not engaging correctly and i was like you're right and then uh, as soon as i went back and did my ex like practice doing like my engaging correctly while I was singing. I was like, oh, there we go. Oh, I fixed it. There we go. <laughs> and the voice improved immediately. So, um, yeah, you, getting a good vocal coach is, is my big recommendation. But try out those that warm-up with the siren and the, and the lip trill and then uh, give a go with the uh, holding of your tongue and let me know in the comments if any of that helped you. You can practice it any way you want. And, um, yeah, be prepared for people to... Be like, what is, what are they doing? What, what's going on? Why are they doing that? Like, I'm practicing singing. <laughs> you know, so it is what it is. Um, catch you guys in the next stream. And uh, if you like this, uh, make sure you subscribe, do all that stuff and follow in our, in our free music course. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll chuck this in there for that, for all of our singing tips. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.